What up, Maximum Football fans? I wanted to make a quick video about the potential that Maximum Football could have utilizing the Unreal Engine 5. Let's talk about it. YouTube, I'm back with a Maximum Football update. Like the video if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get it. Before I start the video, I have to preface that this is all potential. The things that we're gonna discuss more than likely won't be in the first Maximum Football game. Like I said, it's their first football game. So without further ado, let's talk about the top five advantages Invictus Games, the developers behind Maximum Football, has for future games going forward. Number five, as we start the list, you got better animations, animation tools, such as motion wrapping and full body IK. Also, more detailed and up-to-date character model rigging. All these tools will allow Invictus Games to create much more detailed animations and much faster because everything is in Unreal Engine 5 already. Number four, you're going to get much better physics when it comes to Unreal Engine 5. Unreal Engine 5 has the Chaos Engine. You can see examples all throughout YouTube on how great this Chaos Engine is. You'll see characters shooting at a wall and you'll see all the particles and debris fall apart so natural it looks beautiful. But what was really difficult to find an example of was human collisions due to the physics engine. However, I did go to the Epic Community Development website and found this. This is the one note that I found that makes the Chaos Engine in Unreal Engine 5 profound. There is no limit to the number of collisions you can have as compared to Unreal Engine 4. It's up to the user to determine their individual needs regarding performance and function. When I hear unlimited collisions, I automatically think backbreakers collisions. And I'm probably wrong for thinking that, but for the fact that you have a much more updated physics engine and it has all that software that's in the engine itself, instead of importing a physics engine into Unreal Engine 5, it already has a great engine within it. Number three, Nanite technology. Nanite technology allows developers to create highly detailed environments at a large scale and really quickly. This technique is astounding. It, it's so detailed how developers can create such large environments and not really sacrifice too much to the game's fidelity. The example I want to give is that developers can create a pro level football stadium with highly detailed seats, rooms, tunnels, and environments. In fact, they will have highly detailed suites all around the stadium. And those suites you could actually go into and see geometry like furniture, cups, glasses, all types of objects to make that environment look realistic. And it goes further than that. You can have a my player mode where that player drives into the parking lot, then walks to the locker room, then walks out onto the field all in real time. The creative implications are immeasurable. Give those tools within a game to users and users will go crazy for that type of thing. Number two, MetaHuman, facial animation and creation tools. MetaHuman allows developers and users to create highly detailed faces for player models. Not only highly detailed faces, but highly detailed animations. If one day Maximum Football decides to incorporate some kind of my player like mode, MetaHuman is perfect for that type of gameplay feature. Not only will you be able to capture your face using your cell phone like NBA 2K, but you'll be able to capture emotions and expressions and implement them in the game, creating new animations for your my player. And number one, realistic graphics. We got these new systems, PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series systems, and these high-end PCs, which can fully utilize the Unreal Engine 5's potential. Lumen is Unreal Engine 5's global lighting system. It allows for highly detailed lighting and shadows, which creates very realistic environments. Also, Unreal Engine 5 boosts highly detailed textures. This game is called Unrecord and it is built in Unreal Engine 5. It looks super real. 
but imagine this type of realism in your football game. Also what goes with graphics is all types of shaders, shadow effects, and ray tracing. Weather could be off the chain in Unreal Engine 5 for a football game. Again, the potential is immeasurable. And that's what this video is all about. The potential of Unreal Engine 5 being used in a football game with a passionate and dedicated studio like Invictus. I just wanted to share Unreal Engine 5's potential that it can bring to a football game. But that potential may never ever come to light. If we don't support this game, we will never see the full potential of Unreal Engine 5 in a football game. You see, I've been gaming for a good long time. I was there when All Pro Football 2K8 was debuted. I was there when Backbreaker Football was debuted. Both of those games didn't get a warm welcoming from the simulation football community. This time around, we can't let that happen. We don't know when's the next time we might get a simulation football game if this game fails. So I plan to support maximum football as best as I can, especially if the gameplay is good. In the comments, what do you guys think of the Unreal Engine 5? What do you think are the implications that the Unreal Engine 5 gives to a football game? Let me know in the comments below what you thought was the most interesting point that I made in this video. And if you want more updates to Maximum Football, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell on all, please like the video and share the video. Check out these two videos that I made recently and we're out of here.